and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's video because today we're going to be doing a tour of my neighborhood, Clinton Hill, Brooklyn. I'm very excited about this in particular because I noticed on my TikToks, some of my most successful videos were videos specifically about living in New York City. So I wanted to make an all exclusive YouTube video regarding what it's like to live in this specific area of Brooklyn. Going forward, I do want to make more video tours of different areas in Brooklyn and Manhattan and other areas of New York. So if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to leave a comment of what area you'd like me to give a tour of next. I specifically waited until May to make this video because I wanted to wait until all the trees were in full blossom and let me tell you, Brooklyn looks so much more beautiful in the summertime, I believe, because once the leaves are on all the trees, all the streets are just lined up with just it's just gorgeous. You're just you're gonna see in the video. Now, if you are planning on moving to Brooklyn and you're having a hard time deciding what specific area to move to, I think these videos will, will really help you a lot. It's really important to focus on what you need, what's important for you, what your commute is like for work, if you have a special diet, if you have, uh, you know, if you're kosher, if you're vegan, if there's options for you in your area, that is something that's very important to be a deciding factor in where you live. There's also things like your budget. If you want to be close to nightlife, if you want to be in a more quiet area, if you want to be closer to Manhattan. These are all things to consider. The reason why I chose Clinton Hill specifically is because, first of all, it's a 15 minute commute for my work. I could walk to work within 35 minutes on a nice day, or I could take the subway. The total commute time is like 15 minutes. Second is I'm vegan, so I need vegan op like good, juicy vegan options in my area to look forward to. When I used to live in the Bronx, there was like no vegan options. I used to have to take the subway like 20 minutes to go to Harlem to get a decent vegan meal. But in Clinton Hill, I literally walk around the corner. I'm around the corner from a vegan grocery store, a vegan bakery, a vegan bar. I'm in heaven. So that's something that was important for me. And the third reason why I chose to live in Clinton Hill is because overall, it is technically one of the safer areas. Now, I know nowhere in New York is really safe, but I personally feel safer here. It's a little more expensive than a lot of other areas in Brooklyn, especially because it's closer to Manhattan. But I just, I feel safer here. And that is something that is really important to me. I don't, I don't have to walk down a hill around the block just to go to the subway station. I'm right around the corner all important things to me, but that might not be important to you. So yeah, if you're deciding to move to Brooklyn or you just want to see what's going on there, specifically in Clinton Hill, make sure to watch this video to the end. Clinton Hill also is just a beautiful neighborhood overall. It is so quiet here. Now it's a little less expensive than other areas such as Cobble Hill or Brooklyn Heights or downtown Brooklyn or even Williamsburg because it's a little further away from the subways that directly go to Manhattan. But I like that because it's quieter here. It's nice and relaxing. I could hear birds most of the time. It's not as much hustle and bustle as other areas in Brooklyn might be that are slightly more expensive than this area. The architecture here is gorgeous, honey. You'll see in the video. There's so many older buildings that date back to the early 1800s. You're about 15 minutes to Williamsburg, 15 minutes to downtown Brooklyn or about 20, 25 minutes to lower Manhattan. So you could either hang out in your area where there's plenty of bars and restaurants or you could go to Lower Manhattan and be there within 25 minutes. It's a pretty central area, even though it's super quiet and relaxing. Overall, if you are deciding to move to Brooklyn, I hope this video helps make your decision a little bit easier than it was before. Without further ado, let's get started. stop today is Clementine Bakery and Cafe. Clementine Bakery is actually a 100% vegan bakery and cafe located in Clinton Hill on Classen Avenue and Green. I absolutely love this place. I found it by accident and I've been coming here every other day since. This is literally vegan heaven. They have plants as you walk in and ever since COVID they shut down the indoor dining and instead opened vegan groceries. And yeah, you can get groceries here at a really good price. They have just like berries for a couple bucks, tomato sauce, anything you might need around the house that you don't wanna have to run to the grocery store for. You can get it here. Another thing I love about Clementine is that they have so many gluten-free options in addition to vegan options. So they have an entire top shelf of gluten-free options and then they have an entire separate shelf 
of completely gluten-free cookies, gluten-free muffins, gluten-free Rice Krispie treats, everything gluten-free and vegan. So I'm personally in heaven since I can't have gluten either. One of my favorite drinks to get is the iced chai latte with oat milk, also the gluten-free vegan Rice Krispie treats, and the gluten-free vegan cupcakes. Any flavor is delicious. My personal favorite is the gluten-free vegan vanilla sprinkle. Let me take a sip. Delicious as always. Also, if you like Clementine, you'll love their vegan bar. Same owners. It's located right around the corner. It's called Izzy Rose. It wasn't open at the moment, so I'll insert some pictures here of what the bar looks like when it's popping. But they have a really cute outdoor area. It's so nice in the summer. It's such a cute area for date nights or if you want to go out with your friends. There's also a Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, Tons of grocery stores. There's gotta be at least five grocery stores within just Clinton Hill alone. There's Mexican restaurants, Southern restaurants, Italian restaurants. Pretty much every kind of food you could ever think of is located in Clinton Hill. We also have Putnam's, which is a really cool bar that has like a secret area downstairs that turns into a club. I think right now they're only using it for private parties, but it has these really cool, cave-like areas. It's awesome. You should go check it out for sure. And of course, there's more Mexican restaurants, Chinese food, literally anything and everything you could think of, and of course, more Italian food as well. With plenty of outdoor and indoor dining options throughout the summer and throughout the rest of the year. And that brings us to our next stop, Guevara's. This is a vegan grocery store slash cafe that serves all kinds of Mexican specialties. I personally like the nachos, those are my favorite. They have the cutest outdoor seating area. They have tons of plants inside. Such a cute vibe overall. They have greeting cards, they have tea, coffee. More plants. Pretty much every single flavor of every single vegan thing that you could think of, they have it here. Tons and tons of vegan ice cream, literally every flavor of every brand. The one thing you have to be careful of though is the prices. Some of the prices here are very reasonable and some of them are quite high. So make sure you find out what the price is of the item before you get it. Tons of vegan drinks, kombuchas, seltzers, hemp drinks, vegan gluten-free cookie dough, meatless meats, and oh, yep, there I am. <laughs> Don't mind me. But yeah, pretty much anything vegan you could think of, they have it. Now, I didn't check the price before I got it, so I got this really interesting strawberry lemonade hemp drink. It was $7.95, a little more than I'd like to spend, but it was delicious, I must say. The nachos, on the other hand, were $10, which they were enough for two people. I thought the nachos were a very good price for the amount it was, and they were delicious. And they're also gluten-free. Our next stop is Green in Brooklyn. This is a eco-friendly store that sells all kinds of cutesy little things like greeting cards, books, cleaning supplies, and even truffles. Even some vegan truffle options as well that are made by someone in the Lower East Side, I believe, in Manhattan. Such a cute gift store overall. This is where I got my Mother's Day card. While the truffle was vegan, gluten-free, and delicious, it was $3.81. Again, more than I would have liked to spend for a truffle that big. But then again, that's what happens when you are in a more expensive area overall. So one of my favorite parts about Clinton Hill is like how quiet it is. You could hear the birds chirping. The architecture of the brownstones is absolutely gorgeous, honey, yes. I love it here though. This is like what makes it different from other areas of Brooklyn and other areas of the city. It's because it's so quiet and relaxing. Regarde 
next step, let's note some of the convenient things that you might want to look out for, such as there's a local TD bank. Again, plenty of grocery stores. There's a laundry mat. There is a liquor store for all your liquor needs. And there's even a gas station, which is very rare to find in Brooklyn. A yoga studio, kitchen supply store. A hair salon, hardware stores. And you could even see Manhattan. Urgent care. And of course, for the proud students, an art supply store. Then there's a local plant shop, and right around the corner from that plant shop is a local nursery. And last but not least, in the center of it all is Pratt Institute. If you are planning on attending Pratt, I would highly suggest that you live in one of the dorms or in Clinton Hill because it is such a nice area. You're right there. The school is right in the middle of Clinton Hill, and you have everything right there. You can even still see Manhattan from Pratt Institute. And yeah, the campus itself is absolutely gorgeous. There's plenty of really cool sculptures on the campus. And there's also buildings scattered throughout Myrtle Avenue as well. And the dorms are gorgeous, honey. I like wish I would have went here. And yes, that concludes our tour of Clinton Hill, Brooklyn. If you like this video and you want to see more tours of New York, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. It is free, honey. And leave a comment below on what area you'd like me to tour next. I love you guys. You're the best. Thank you. And I will see you in the next video. And that's all I have to say about that. See ya!